Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now going to go over the October 2023 Pure Mathematics P1, sorry, Pure Mathematics P2 paper from Edexcel International A Level. Um, and I'm going to go through each question one by one and save them as separate videos and save those videos in, in a playlist for this paper and other playlists which are um, according to the topic which the question is from. Um, so I'm going to take my time in answering some of these questions, keeping in mind some of the questions that students have when I'm teaching them and also students have when I'm, you know, when I see comments in the channel or whatever. So I'm going to try and um, sometimes focus on certain areas which um, need addressing, I feel, for those students. Now, let's make a start then. Question number one it says, given that A, B and C are integers greater than zero, okay, such that C equals 3A plus 1, and a plus b plus c equals 15 so we know they're integers and they're all positive all right so a b and c are all integers and they're positive and this relationship applies to them prove by exhaustion okay by exhaustion um that the product a b c is always a multiple of four you may use the table below to illustrate your answer you may not need to use all the rows of the table okay so let's start off with let's say the most obvious one let's say when a equals one Let's see what when a equals one because it looks like a is going to be like the smaller out of the other other two numbers. So if a equals one, okay, when a equals one, then c is equal to three times one plus one, which is going to be three times one three plus one, which is going to be four. So c is going to be four, and if c is four, then b is going to be so when a is one and c is four. Okay, when a is one and c is 4, then you're going to have 1 plus b plus 4 equals 15. So b is going to be 15 minus 5, which is 10. Okay, now if you multiply these numbers together, you're going to get 40. And we know that 40 is 4 times 10. So this is a multiple of 4. Okay, the product abc is always a multiple of 4. So here we can see this definitely is a multiple of 4. So this is true for when a is 1. When a is 1, then c has to be 4, and then b has to be 10. And the product of A, B, and C will always give us will give us 40, which is a multiple of 4. So let's see what happens when A equals 2. When A equals 2, then we can say C is equal to 3 times 2 plus 1, which is 6 plus 1, which is 7. So that's going to be 7 here. Okay, then B is going to be 2 plus 7, which is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. So we can see that when A equals 2 and when C equals 7, then we can say that you know 2 plus b plus 7 equals 15. So b is 15 minus 9, so b is going to be 6. And if you multiply these together, you're going to get um, 42 times 2, which is 84. Okay, 6 times 7 is 42, times 2 is 84. And that's the same as 4 times 21. That is a multiple of 4. Okay, we can see that. And when a equals 3... Again, let's see when a equals 3, what's going to happen to c? c is going to be 3 times a plus 1, so it's 3 times 3 plus 1, which is going to give you 10. So when a equals 3, then we can say c is equal to, uh, sorry, that's when a equals 3, this is going to be c. c equals 10, so when a equals 3, c is equal to 10, and b is going to be 2. Of course, I have to add up to 15. All right, so that's going to be 6 times 10, which is 60. And 60 is the same as 4 times 15. Okay, now when a equals 4, what happens is you end up with c is going to be 3 times 4 plus 1. Okay, 3a plus 1, which is going to give you c equals 13. All right, and when you try to add them together, you have 3 plus b plus 13 equals 15. Well, you can't have any number for b because b has to be a positive integer. And this gives you more than 15, so B will have to be negative in this case. So we've exhausted all the possible values that A can be, all right? And therefore, the, all the possible values that C and B can be for A, B, and C to always be greater than zero, integers that are greater than zero. So there's the only possible values. So we've exhausted all the possible values of A, B, and C if this statement is true, that they're integers greater than zero, all three of them. All right, those are the only possible values. And we can see in every case, we can say all our, all our multiples are 3. So all possible 
can you just mention a little statement? All possible values of A, B, and C, or we can say four, all possible values of A, B, and C, A times B times C is equal to four times some, some integer is equal to a multiple of four. Okay. All right, so we've shown that. A, B, C is always be a multiple of four. Okay, so that answers that question. That's enough for the answer, and that's fine. All right, so that's the answer to number one. And that concludes this question from this paper. Other questions which are dealing or from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here in this area. Other questions from the topic of proofs of P2 can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link here. And you can watch a video here which takes you to um, other um, or takes you to a video you can take sorry you can click the link here it takes you to a video that shows you how to use my channel to find other things you might be looking for thank you for watching and see you soon